Hello everyone, this is Richard again, and uh, I'm here to uh, continue, because I have another idea to talk about the spirituality, and uh, I want to talk about um, why the spirits are so, um, they seem so elusive and so hard to pinpoint. They seem so, um, so um, mysterious, you know, like uh, sometimes on videos, like you saw my other video, um, where I, I analyze uh, creepy ghost clips of uh, creepy ghost kind of tape clips and stuff like that and uh, the first one you saw that one where the ghost was doing some things in the uh, motel room and then you, you see him walking out but you only see a little bit of his apparition and then he disappears and and, and, and the thing is though is that um, that type of uh, um, 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 imagery gives off a kind of sense of as though the spirits are so above us, or they're, or they're so, um, they're so hard to grasp and to comprehend. They seem like they're so beyond, you know, because like you only see them for certain glimpses. You catch them, you know, like in a, in, in a photograph, you catch them in video for like a, you see their white shape and then they disappear. They seem so like magical and so, but the thing is, is that in, in reality is that it is not as uh, um, elusive or magical or hard to comprehend as what you would think. Is that the thing is though is the reason why it seems is like it's like that is because we are not in their world and we do not see the simplicity and the straightforwardness of how they exist. And so um, it's kind of like um, it's like trying to understand um, the behavior of, of animals is what it is. Trying to understand the like, it's like we think of cats as so mysterious and so strange and so interesting and so provocative and so intriguing that it's like they, they blow our minds, you know, or like there's some other animals in, in the world, you know, like uh, exotic animals in the jungle. But the thing is, though, is that when you really think about it, you just have to just understand that that it's not as it's not difficult to understand them, you know, we're just not there, we don't understand. We, we can't comprehend them and so it seems as though they're just above us and beyond us but what it is is that it's much more um, dumbed down and more simple and straightforward than you would think you know um, it, 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 they make it seem as though they're like you know they're like they're dead and that they think to themselves oh well now I'm dead now I can be like you know moving things and scaring people and like you know making them look like fools and and all this stuff but once you become dead then you become then then you realize that it's just so simple and so straightforward that it's like it's it's like nothing you know it's like um trying to understand women and all this stuff like we a lot of men it kind of surprises me that a lot of men have trouble understanding women the thing is though is that when you understand that they are you and you are them and that you are both humans you understand where they're coming from. You understand uh, what their intentions are, what their desires are. Then the mystery, the mystery gets broken. It gets demystified. And the ghosts is just like that. It becomes demystified. You know, um, like, it's just, it, like, you, you, what it is, you just have to um, compare yourself to them. You have to compare yourself to how they live, how they exist, and uh, how how they manifest themselves and their intentions and their desires and how the the physics of their reality you know because there's a separate type of physics um how it all works and that um when you get right down to it you have to put your mindset in this in the mindset of the spirits in that the spirits themselves they don't really understand a lot of them are very ignorant and a lot of them don't really even understand what is really happening or uh, or occurring, or a, a, a lot of times they don't, even, they, don't they, they 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 just don't understand a lot of the things. They don't comprehend it themselves. They're like when when you die and you become a spirit, you become a child again. That's what it is. That's why a lot of spirits they act up and they do foolish things and and they move things and they scare people and all this stuff and. And, and and the thing is though is that it's not as it's not as mysterious as you think it is it's just that it's just that we don't understand um, the nature of of the simplicity of the mystery 
you know um once you're there it's like um like what i said about the animals it's just like like um like like for instance like um a lot of people like um, what, what, what can i do for them? For example it'd be like ants be a better example back in the day oh uh, well, well this is a better example oh like rats back in the day people didn't know that um you know they they, they just they they saw these animals rats so mysterious that they just didn't, they didn't know that the rats just they multiplied you know they had sex and they multiplied and they grew and grew and grew but back in the day when when people would see these rats in their cellars back in the 1800s um they didn't know the, about the nature of the animal they thought that the rats just kind of appeared and they just appeared out of thin air and they thought of them as something mysterious and they thought that it was something strange but once you really get into it and you analyze and you analyze it and you and, and you spy on them and you and you um do your work on it you start to you start to demystify the the mystery of what is 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 occurring you know like now we understand that rats they have sex and they and they multiply and they and they grow and grow and grow and and so it's like it's it's like nothing and like the spirits you know they seem like they're so mysterious and so elusive and so above us it but it's only because we just don't understand the simplicity of how they live how they live they understand it because they're there you know and it's more straightforward you know like maybe um like the way that they are they're so um mis mysterious and so elusive and they're so they're so magical you know that you only, you only catch glimpses of them on videos of cameras because there's because it's so difficult to to like uh, to to understand them and, and, and to get them in their in, in their in their most um primitive um naturalistic state it's so hard like they're so they're so above us you know they're 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 they're, they're so um beyond you know oh ooh. it seems like that but but once you really understand it you start to use the the the, the dots will start to connect and you start to see that, you know, from my understanding, from the video from um, when I analyzed the creepy ghost current kind of tape clips, is that, you know, like if you were to have a better um, um, camera with better, um, like a better caption, a better um, 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 imagery, you know, better something different, better high tech camera, you'll be able to capture the spirit, you know, physically grabbing things and, and you'll be able to understand like um you'll be able to understand the their demeanor and their and their physical their physical demeanor and their and see within their eyes what they're feeling and and to catch them in the moment catch them in the moment right there where you where like when you catch someone camera you can then analyze and understand that particular spirit right at the moment while they're causing a ruckus and scaring people it's only because we don't understand that the spirits are people they're people but that they're in a different form and once you understand them and you're able to catch them right at the moment where they're completely off guard or they're unknowing you know it's like going into the hole and into the rabbit's hole and seeing or like the gopher holes or the ant holes once you create a technology where you can go into their their um uh habitat into their habitat into their into their natural environment where you're able to see them and catch their the catch their innate psychology and and analyze their movements and, and understand their world and understand their intentions and and their struggles within themselves that's where the that's where the mystery becomes demystified you know only within or only with, when you're able to to catch them in their moments like an animal Will you understand them more better and you start to see oh it ain't nothing they're just a a stupid idiot that a dead idiot a dead guy that's just in the motel or hotel causing trouble because he wants attention Ooh, he wants attention the spirit wants attention he's just as dumb and just as simple as a living person Ooh, you know he's oh, oh how enlightened you know how enlightened oh, oh wow when you're able to use the technology when you're able to get into their habitat and catch them off guard and record them while they're doing these crazy things and capturing their whole body um 
analyzing their body um, posture and their body compo their composure, looking at their face and how what struggle they are and what looking into their eyes and seeing what their intentions are, you then are able to apply yourself onto them to analyze them. Just how, just how like a psychologist under understands their uh, um, 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 a, a person that's laying on the couch. You know, it's just like that. It's, we think that spirits are so hard to understand, but you know, one of the days we're gonna understand them. And we're gonna we're, we're gonna be able to go into that rabbit hole or that ant hole and see that ah, eh, you know, oh, this is what's going on. Oh, oh okay. So he so we, we start to see a pattern. Okay, so he goes over here, he does that, so he must be like, uh, he used to be this way, so now he's stuck in this place where he keeps on coming here and there, and he's doing this, and, and he looks like he was a passive-aggressive person when he was alive, so he's a passive-aggressive person when he's dead, so, oh, oh, okay, okay, you know, so you understand individual spirits, you know, understanding the whole spectrum of the spirits is a whole other thing, but it'll come to pass, man. As Ricky says, but is and uh, I just want to talk about that and it's hope you guys liked it. It's Mad Cat Sphere, sorry about that. Uh, AKA Rick says, but is take care.